this year's uh, award for sustainability or energy efficiency in the building and it was based on introducing uh, an ammonia heat pump into an existing refrigeration system. Um, it's for a large uh, a, a poultry plant um, for Moy Park, which is part of the Pilgrim Group. And basically we're taking the waste energy that you would normally reject in the refrigeration process and we're boosting it up uh, to a temperature which they can reuse back in the process. So, you know, in a, in a, a poultry plant, you normally use about three quarters of a litre of water, pot water, per bird. Uh, when you're producing the birds, you're washing them down and removing the feathers. Um, and, you know, these poultry plants, they're producing tens of thousands of birds an hour. So that's an awful lot of hot water. Uh, but that heat is normally generated via a boiler. Uh, and then at the end of the day, they use hundreds of cubic metres of hot water to wash the factory down at the end of the evening. So, so rather than that, well, rather than us cooling the process and just throwing away the heat via the condensers, we're boosting it up and we're putting it back into the process and the factory. And that's enabled them to reduce their water consumption by the order of, of 40%. Um, it's also allowed them to reduce their uh, uh, gas consumption by about three quarters. So it's a massive deal and the CO2 emissions by three quarters because you're not using the boiler to generate heat and then energy to remove that heat in the set in essence from the factory you know the factory is a great big refrigerator we keep it we keep it cold um, but at the same time you've got people going around trying to heat it up spraying hot water everywhere so we, we capture that energy and we boost it back up and, and put it back into it. It's massive, it's massive. You know, I've been doing this for 27 years, you know, I'm older than I look. And uh, it, it's, you know, as a manufacturer, we, we talk about that we've made an advance on our compressor and we've increased the efficiency by 1%. We're talking about changing processes and, and increasing efficiencies by 30, 40, 50, 75 percent. It's a big deal. So, so th this is going to be a massive game changer for the refrigeration industry moving forward. And you've got to think about it. Everybody thinks about refrigeration as being cold. You know, we've got to cool stuff down. Refrigeration people are, are experts in heat. Now, heat is heat, whether it's at minus 40 or if it's at 140, you know, the application of the heat, whether it's cold or hot, is the same. So all we're doing is recovering this energy and using the heat, where we normally concentrate on cooling chickens down. So, so but it, it's going to be huge. It, the, the, the advantages to the environment, uh, everything, are just too big to ignore. The problem is, is the understanding for the clients that, you know, you say, well, actually, I'm going to give you three megawatts worth of heat and you're only going to give me 300 kilowatts and, and the heat I've taken out of you know a, a vegetable at two degrees and I'm giving you it back at 60 or 70 degrees it, it tends to it tends to baffle the mind a little bit. The heat pump itself it, it's actually quite cheap it's a chiller really um, but but if, if you've got a battery that you've been used to driving the heating with steam you've got an infrastructure there to circulate your steam about uh, but we make um, low pressure hot water. So, so if it's an existing factory and you've already bought a boiler, then, then we need to put in an infrastructure. The heat pump is quite cheap, but we have to get the heat where it needs to go. Uh, so that tends to be expensive. But if you're building a new factory, you know we're doing projects now where the client isn't putting a boiler in at all. Uh, we are simply just putting in a heat thermal heat tank and we're storing the heat which they then use in their process and they don't put a boiler on. You know, there's many, many processes which which you don't need a boiler. So so that's that's where but then it's a greenfield project. A brownfield project, you know, you've already got the infrastructure. I'd say typically a five year payback if you have to run your pipes a long way. If you've only got to run your pipes a short way, uh, let's say you've got a boiler and it's generating hot water anyway, uh, then you're talking about less than a year. So, so it really depends on how far you've got to run your heat.